Oklahoma DMV Motorcycle Practice Test Question 1. You should cover the clutch and brake whenever you want to. A. Reduce your reaction time. B. Alert others to your actions. C. Change lanes. D. Slow down. Answer A, you should cover the clutch and brake whenever you want to reduce your reaction time. Question 2, in locations where there is oil and grease buildup, the best lane position is A. The center portion B. In the blind spot C. The left or right part of the lane D. Not important Oklahoma DMV Motorcycle Practice Test Question 1. You should cover the clutch and brake whenever you want to. A. Reduce your reaction time. B. Alert others to your actions. C. Change lanes. D. Slow down. Question 2. In locations where there is oil and grease buildup, the best lane position is A. The center portion B. In the blind spot C. The left or right part of the lane D. Oklahoma DMV Motorcycle Practice Test Question 1, you should cover the clutch and brake whenever you want to. A. Reduce your Question 2. In locations where there is oil and grease buildup, the best lane position is? Answer C. When passing parked cars, stay toward the left of your lane. You can avoid problems caused by doors opening, drivers getting out of cars, or people stepping from between cars. Question 6. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by A. Applying both brakes without locking the wheels. B. Applying only the front brake. C. Pulling in the clutch. D. Applying both brakes until the wheels lock.
Answer A. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by applying both brakes without locking the wheels. Question 7. If your motorcycle is equipped with a windshield. A. A helmet is not required. B. You must still wear goggles or face protection. C. You may wear glasses instead of a face shield. D. You must not wear goggles or face protection. Answer B. A windshield is not a substitute for a face shield or goggles. Most windshields will not protect your eyes from the wind. Neither will eyeglasses or sunglasses. Glasses won't keep your eyes from watering, and they might blow off when you turn your head while riding. Question 8. Riding close to the edge of a road is dangerous for motorcycles because A. It is prohibited to ride there. B. The pavement is poor quality. C. Dirt collects there and provides little traction. D. You may hit pedestrians. Answer A. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by applying both brakes without locking the wheels. Question 7. If your motorcycle is equipped with a windshield. A. A helmet is not required. B. You must still wear goggles or face protection. C. You may wear glasses instead of a face shield. Answer B. A windshield is not a substitute for a face shield or goggles. Most windshields will. Question 8. Riding close to the edge of a road is dangerous for motorcycles because A. It is prohibited to ride there. B. The pavement is poor quality. C. Dirt collects there and provides. Answer A. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by applying both brakes without locking the wheels. Question 7. If your motorcycle is equipped with a windshield. A. A helmet is. Answer B. A windshield is not a substitute for a face shield or goggles. Most windshields will not protect your eyes from the wind. Neither will eyeglasses or sunglasses. Glasses won't keep your eyes from watering, and they might blow off when you turn your head while riding. Question 8. Riding close to the edge of a road is dangerous for motorcycles because Answer A. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by applying both brakes without locking the wheels. Q 
Question 12. When preparing to enter the roadway from the roadside, how should you position your motorcycle? A. With the rear tire off the road. B. Parallel to the roadside. C. Perpendicular to the roadside. D. At an angle. Answer B. A windshield is not a substitute for a face shield or goggles. Most windshields will not protect your eyes from the wind. Neither will eyeglasses or sunglasses. Glasses won't keep your eyes from watering, and they might blow off when you turn your head wide. Question 8. Riding close to the edge of a road is dangerous for motorcycles because A. It is prohibited to ride there. B. The pavement is poor quality. C. Dirt collects there and provides little traction. D. You may hit pedestrians. Answer A. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by applying both brakes without locking the wheels. Question 12. When preparing to enter the roadway from the roadside, how should you position your motorcycle? A. With the rear tire off the road. B. Parallel to the roadside. Answer B. A windshield is not a substitute for a face shield or goggles. Most windshields will. Answer D. When you head check before changing lanes, you're checking the lane beside you and the far lane to see if other vehicles are planning to move into the lane. Question 15. What is one cause of skidding while turning? A. Using the wrong gear. B. Using the wrong brake. C. Applying too much brake. D. Pulling in the clutch too quickly. Question 12. When preparing to enter the roadway from the roadside. How should you position your motorcycle? Answer A. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by applying both brakes without locking the wheels. Question 8. Riding close to the edge of a road is dangerous for motorcycles because Question 15. What is one cause of skidding while turning? A. Using the wrong gear. B. Using the wrong brake. C. Applying too much brake. D. Pulling in the clutch too quickly. Question 12. When preparing to enter the roadway from the roadside. How should you position your motorcycle? A. With the rear tire off the road. B. Parallel to the roadside. C. Perpendicular to the roadside. D. At an angle.
Answer A. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by applying both brakes without locking the wheels. Question 8. Riding close to the edge of a road is dangerous for motorcycles because A. It is prohibited to ride there. B. The pavement is poor quality. C. Dirt collects there and provides little traction. D. You may hit pedestrians. Question 15. What is one cause of skidding while turning? A. Using the wrong answer C. When preparing to pass another vehicle, you should begin your pass from the left lane position, which is closest to the center line. Question 19. Accelerating in a curve? A. Is for experienced riders only. B. Should not be done. C. Helps stabilize the motorcycle. D. Should be done only in small curves. Question 8. Riding close to the edge of the road is dangerous for motorcycles because A. It is prohibited to ride there. B. The pavement is poor quality. C. Dirt collects there. Question 20. Signal lights should be used. A. As long as other vehicles are around. B. In cities but not in rural areas. C. Every time you plan to turn or change lanes. D. Only if you may not be seen by other vehicles. Question 19. Accelerating in a curve? A. Is for experienced riders only. B. Should not be done. C. Helps. St Question 8. Riding close to the edge of the road is dangerous for motorcycles because Question 20. Signal lights should be used. A. As long as other vehicles are around. B. In cities but not in rural areas. C. Every time you plan to turn or change lanes. D. Only if you may not be seen. Question 19. Accelerating in a curve? A. Is for experienced riders.
Question 8. Riding close to the edge of a road is dangerous for motorcycles because A. It is prohibited to ride there. B. The pavement is poor quality. C. Dirt collects there and provides little traction. D. You may hit pedestrians. Question 20. Signal lights should be used. A. As long as other vehicles are. Question 19. Accelerating in a curve? A. Is for experienced riders only. B. Should not be done. C. Helps stabilize the motorcycle. D. Should be done only in small curves. Question 8. Riding close to the edge of a road is dangerous for motorcycles because A. It is prohibited to ride there. B. The pavement is poor quality. C. Dirt. Question 20. Signal lights should be used. A. As long as other vehicles are around. B. In cities but not in rural areas. C. Every time you plan to turn or change lanes. D. Only if you may not be seen by other vehicles. Question 19. Accelerating in a curve? A. Is for experienced riders only. B. Should not be done. C. Helps stabilize the motorcycle. D. Should be done only in small curves. Answer B. For most effective steering while riding, your hand should be positioned at or below elbow height. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Along the sides of the road. B. Near the center of the road. C. In the left wheel track. D. In all of the above areas. Answer A. Be cautious of the edge of the road. Dirt and gravel collect along the sides of the road especially on curves and ramps leading to and from highways. Question 28. When carrying a passenger, instruct them to A. Grip the backrest. B. Wear a seat belt. C. Hold firmly to your waist, hips, or belt. D. Put their feet on the ground when stopped. Question 29. 
Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Along the sides of the road. B. Near the center of the road. C. In the left wheel track. D. In all of the above areas. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B. Ensures you will not be over the legal limit. C. Is the legal limit for males. D. Prevents drunkenness if drinking beer. Answer A, only drinking one drink per hour does not guarantee that you are sober enough to drive. Question 30, what type of group formation should be used when riding through curves? A. Single file B. V-shaped formation C. In pairs D. Staggered formation. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B. Question 30. What type of group formation should be used when riding through curves? A. Single file. B. V-shaped formation. C. In pairs. D. Staggered formation. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Along the sides of the road. B. Near the center of the road. C. In the left wheel track. D. In all of the above areas. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee. Question 30. What type of group formation should be used when riding through curves? A. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Along the sides of the road. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. 
does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B. Ensures you will not be over the legal limit. C. Is the legal limit for males. D. Prevents drunkenness if drinking beer. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B. Ensures you will not be over the legal limit. C. Is the legal limit for males. D. Prevents drunkenness if drinking beer. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee. Answer B. The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle's stopping power. Always use both brakes when stopping. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Along the sides of the road. B. Near the center of the road. C. In the left wheel track. D. In all of the above areas. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. 
does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B. Ensures you will not be over the legal limit. C. Is the legal limit for males. D. Prevents drunkenness if drinking beer. Answer B. The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle's stopping power. Always use book. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Along the sides of the road. B. Near the center of the road. C. In the left wheel track. D. In all of the. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B. Ensures you will not be over the legal limit. C. Is the legal limit for males. D. Prevents drunkenness if drinking beer. Answer B. The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle's stopping power. Always use both brakes when stopping. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee. Answer B. The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle's stopping power. Always use both brakes when stopping. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Along the sides of the road. B. Near the center of the road. C. In the left wheel track. D. In all of the above areas.
Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B. Ensures you will not be over the legal limit. C. Is the legal limit for males. D. Prevents drunkenness if drinking beer. Answer B. The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle's stopping power. Always use both. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Along the sides of the road. B. Near the center of the road. C. In the left wheel track. D. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B. Ensures you will not be over the legal limit. C. Is the legal limit for Answer B. The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle's stopping power. Always use both brakes when stopping. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee. Answer B. The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle's stopping power. Always use both brakes when stopping. Question 27. On a paved road. Sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Along the sides of the road. B. Near the center of the road. C. In the left wheel track. D. In all of the above areas. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B. Ensures you will not be over the legal limit. C. Is the legal limit for males. 
D. Prevents drunkenness if drinking beer. Answer B. The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle's stopping power. Always use both. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B. Ensures you will not be over the legal limit. C. Is the legal limit. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.